Hello, my name is Dinesh and I am going to demonstrate a simple parallel port character device driver on Linux system. Okay, so I have Ubuntu 12.04 installed on my desktop and it has 3.2 version of Linux kernel. So let us first quickly go through uh, the schematic of a DB25 connector. So DB25 connector internally consists of three kind of ports and its associated registers. So first one is data port, control port and last one is status port. So um, if you can see here, uh, one address has been mentioned in the bracket. So um, understand one thing uh, that uh, parallel port is a port mapped IO device. So there is no virtual memory involved in it. So whatever the uh, addresses are mentioned here, so I can make use of these addresses directly in my um, code of the driver. Okay. So for the demonstration purpose, uh, I have connected eight LEDs to this data port, and I have written a driver in such a way that this driver is able to glow those eight LEDs. Okay so coming to the hardware part so this is my cpu and i have taken out the connectors directly from my motherboard and i have connected eight leds to the data port as i mentioned earlier okay so coming to the software part so this is my driver so in general it has module in it so this module in it does all the driver registration part in the kernel and module exit likewise i have probe disconnect open write and release functions okay so and in the read function i have implemented all the logic that has been needed for to glow those eight leds so this is that logic okay so assuming that my driver is okay i am going to compile compile my driver okay so for this thing i am going to use the mac utility uh, this make utility is being provided by the kernel itself. So make hyper C lib module zoom hyper R build capital M is equal to dollar PWD models. okay so the driver is compiled now and i have got my dot q okay so before proceeding further uh, just understand one concept that uh, the kernel itself by default provides some driver for the parallel port so if i want to make use of my own driver for the parallel port i need to first uh, remove those uh, default driver provided by the kernels okay so for this thing I will list out the models that have been loaded presently. Okay, so for the parallel port, kernel provides power port driver, but this power port driver is presently used by three other models. So I need to first remove these dependencies, then only I can able to remove this driver. Okay, so for this thing. It need a super user access PP RAM Powerport PC and Powerport. Okay. So the kernel default modules are been removed now. So I can insert my own model now. Okay. okay it's inserted now so I can see the entry of my module in LS1 
Okay. So also that probe devices. So the kernel has given major number of two fifty. Okay. So I will I will create slash dev entry. So this entry I will I'm going to use in my application. Sudo mkm mm triple six parallel port c for character driver two fifty is allocated major number and zero is minor number. Okay. Okay, so till this stage, uh, I can say that my driver, my device driver is up and uh, it's ready to use. For this thing, uh, I need uh, I need some application. Okay, so for this thing, uh, I'm going to use one shell command called as cat. This is the shell command. This command uh, is being used to read any kind of file. Okay, so I'm going to read my driver parallel port. Okay, so after uh, execution of this command, the operating system will create one application process called as cat, and it will schedule into the CPU. And in this uh, and this process will internally call uh, will internally call my driver. So let us execute it. So if you can see here. LEDs are glowing. Yeah, that's it.